One of the greatest things you can get out of a vegetable garden are potatoes. I have a couple of examples here of the most popular potatoes. Here's a russet potato, you got a Yukon gold and a red potato. Um, you can buy seed potatoes at the garden center or the nursery and usually seed potatoes have a type of fungicide on them in order to keep the potato from rotting. But you can also just plant a plain old potato, one that you just bought at the supermarket um, or one that you have left in storage from last year's garden. You'll see if you leave your potatoes sit in the closet for a while, they start to sprout. Each of those sprouts is coming out of an eye on the potato. When we cut our potatoes, Grandma Josephine's old secret was when you cut your potatoes to use for seeding, you want to cut it so you get two eyes coming out of each potato. Um, so we're going to cut this Yukon Gold into two or maybe three seed potatoes, as well as the small red. And from this big russet, we can probably get about four or five seed potatoes out of here. Um, just use a small paring knife or pruning shears uh, to cut your potatoes up. And then we're going to plant them in this bale. So I'm going to start by cutting up this russet potato just using a pruning shears. I find a section where I see a couple of eyes on the potato. Just cut that section off. Set that aside. It's my first seed. There's two, three, Some people like to let their potatoes sit overnight uh, so they dry up. I've never done that and my potatoes have always done just fine. Uh, so once you get it cut up into sections, you have at least two eyes on each of the uh, potato cuttings, you can go ahead and plant those right in the bale. I also like to make them small enough that they're pretty easy to get down into the bale. Um, I'm going to make a hole in this bale. I'm going to drop this potato cutting right down into the bottom of the bale. It couldn't be any simpler. Okay, so I'm just going to use a 2x2 two two to make a hole in this bale, but I want to get the potatoes planted deep in the bale. So if you just take your 2x2 two two or whatever you're going to make a hole with, a piece of pipe, a, a stick, whatever you have, and measure the side of the bale. So you leave about 2 inches, 2.5 two inches on the bottom of the bale and make a mark. We want to shove this into the bale, right in the center of the bale. For the big russets, we're just going to put two in a bale. Um, and we're going to shove this in until we get to our mark that we made with our finger. That's the depth that we want. Kind of move it around, make a hole. We're going to leave that hole open. We're not going to fill it in. We're going to take our potato cutting. We're going to drop it right down that hole. You can use your stick to push it down in there if you need to, kind of like loading a mortar. Get it all the way to the bottom. Now leave that hole open. The potato is going to sprout and that stem is going to crawl all the way up out of that hole, make a really long stem. That's a secret to lots of potatoes. Remember, potatoes are not roots, they're tubers. So they grow off of chits that grow along the stem of that potato. So when that potato reaches the top, it's gonna to sprout a leaf and then you're gonna push the bale and what's now become soil inside that bale, push that around the stem and you'll have tons of potatoes out of this bale. And come this fall when we kick this bale over, we'll have close to a bushel of potatoes that have grown inside this bale. One more thing to mention about planting potatoes. Make sure you let your bales cool off before you plant your potatoes. When you make a hole to the middle of that bale and you're going to plant a potato in there, if it's really warm inside the bale, it could cook your potato. By tomorrow, you're going to have potato soup. So wait for it to cool off before you plant your potato. Another thing to keep in mind is that it can take a long time, up to three weeks, before those potatoes will emerge from the top of your bales. I remember a few years ago, I got an email early in the spring from a guy who had planted out 40 bales of potatoes. And he emailed me all upset because nothing had come up and it had been a couple weeks. And I said, just be patient, it can take a while. A couple days later, he emailed me, now six of them have come up, I'm feeling a little better. And a couple days later, another 10 or 20 had come up and by four or five days after that, they had all come up, all 40 bales had two or three potatoes coming out of each one and he was happy as can be. So be patient, it takes a while for those potatoes sometimes to come to the top. And if you do need to, dig down in there and see if the, what the potato is doing. If it hasn't sprouted, if you plant it a little too early and the bale was too hot, you might have to plant another one. So keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with digging a plant up and seeing what's happening down there uh, inside the bale. That doesn't hurt anything. Just plant it again once you've, once you've dug it up. Good luck with your potatoes. They're great in the straw bales.